If you'd like to see how I'm going to simply transform this Dollar Tree coffee mug just by adding some vinyl that was cut using my Silhouette Cameo Cutter, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to do a really quick five minute, maybe 10 minute DIY using my Silhouette Cameo. I'm going to insert how I cut it out on my Silhouette Cameo, just like really briefly. This is what the program looks like and this is what my cutter looks like and I use this to cut the vinyl. So I have this really nice size um, coffee cup. I'm not exactly sure how many ounces it holds but it's a really decent size. And I bought these in bulk from um, DollarTree.com so this was just a dollar. And this could either be a nice stocking stuffer for someone or if you have a business and you do business uh, for people and they buy from you and you want to be generous during the month of November this will be a nice little thank you gift so it can it can be a quite a few things so I already cut out it's going to say trained by Yas a personal trainer um, who ordered some shirts from me and I'm gonna show you how to weed out the word trained okay so I already weeded these words out so I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you really quickly the process. So you'll need some type of picker like this, and you. I, I like to pull at the corner, and then you just kind of gently pull it from the backing sheet, and you can see the words there. So the word says trained, and you just want to carefully go in between the A. You just want to carefully go inside of each letter and pull out the, the little small pieces that you no longer need. Weed those out. A lot of you always ask, how do I get the words on the cups and the glasses? You will need some type of cutter. And they have went up over the years. I believe I paid about maybe 175, maybe 200 for my Silhouette Cameo, but they have them even bigger and fancier now. They come in different colors and they're about $300. So they have went up. So this says train, so it's gonna say trained by Yaz. And then the other side is gonna say Yaz in pink. So you will need some of this contact paper. You can purchase this on Amazon. They have different kind. The contact paper is here. So I'm just gonna cut me out a nice piece. And it's very, very sticky. So that this is what's gonna help you stick on your vinyl onto the glass or the cup or the mug or whatever it is that you're using. So I'm just gonna face it down like that. I usually do it the opposite way, but I'm just doing it like this right now. Okay. I have too much of it, but it's fine. So you want to take a scraper, you take an old gift card, whatever you have, and you just want to just kind of firmly get that off of the backing sheet. Make sure it's firmly pressed down. Just like so. Up here. Then you want to just kind of eyeball it and see where you want the first words to go. You can go. Coffee mug has already been cleaned and um, wiped with alcohol. And you want to make sure it's dry. Okay, you just kind of eyeball it and see where you want the words to go. This is a pretty big cup, so I can put it here. So when they hold it, if they're right-handed, the wording, the, the main wording would be that way if someone can see them drinking their cup. Or you can have it this way so the main wording, they can see it themselves. Or you can put it on this side. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you. I will say, I don't like to put it too close to the mouth area. I like to at least have it like a little bit of room there. At least right there. So I'm gonna cut this out and just lay this on there too so I can make sure everything is lined up pretty well. I'm just trying to line everything up before I actually put it on to make sure it looks right. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put this first one on. You just peel that off just like that. I like to kind of bend it in the middle. It just kind of helps me out a little bit. So I just kind of bend it. And just try to get it as straight as possible. You kind of smooth it on there. Use some type of card. Peel that off just like that. Center that about there. And you just go ahead and just scrape that on nice and firm. If you don't have transfer tape, like before I had transfer tape, you can really use, if you have blue masking tape, you could use some masking tape or it doesn't have to be the blue one. Um, use masking tape. It works uh, pretty well also. Maybe not as sticky as this, but also with the masking tape, it's not clear, but you can still see the font or whatever you have behind it. But that's what I used to use before when I first started out. So I'm gonna turn to the other side of the cup. And that's where I'm going to put and this if you're wondering this is like two inches high and about three inches wide okay so you just go ahead and peel that away and then I'm gonna try to go like in the center about there smooth that on just like that peel this off and then you're all finished And that's something you can get done very quickly. Oh, let me go ahead and peel this off on this side. And now you're all finished. And then I will show you the shirts that I made um, for her um, personal training company. Okay, so the shirts are already folded up and packed up, but this is what they look like. And I got the idea to go ahead and just throw in an appreciation gift. That's something that you can do for your customers, just to say thank you for your business. And I just thought it'd be really nice. And plus I'm proud of her. Uh, what she's doing she's lost quite a bit of weight and lost quite a bit of weight and made a nice transformation and i just thought that would be nice to make a little coffee cup most people like coffee if they don't like coffee they like tea if they don't like tea they could still just drink juice out of it or you know or just sit it somewhere really cute and to do shirts you will need um heat transfer vinyl which is different than the vinyl that i use on the cups Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this cup. And as you can see, this was very, very simple. And you can change up the fonts. You could use different colors. And this could be, like I said, a customer appreciation gift. It could be a great stocking stuffer. This could be a great birthday gift. This can be a boss's day gift. This can be a gift for anything that you desire. It can be also something that you... Um, add some rhinestones and some bling to some type of design on the side and the shirts also like I said I made those I didn't record myself making the shirts um, I just wasn't gonna do it because I don't really make shirts anymore for people like I used to I still can every blue and moon I'll I'll take an order but thanks you guys for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and thanks again you guys for watching bye bye 
website myworldradiance.com and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code myroyalbeauty10 off. Check out our website crtacticaldefense.com where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code vibes for a special discount for my subscribers. And you can follow me at Life is a Whole Vibe on Instagram and on TikTok. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.